With the 15th pick in the 2015 NFL Draft, the San Diego Chargers select Melvin Gordon, running back, Wisconsin. This kid can take it to the house. He has 4-5-2 speed, vision, patience, and he has an outstanding stiff arm. I've seen him catch the ball with ease at the combine. I like Melvin Gordon a lot. He's going to look good in San Diego, Mel. The LSU game, beginning of the year, they lost that game 28-24. That was August 30th. He missed most of the second half with that hip flexor strain. If he plays, they win the game. Wisconsin does. He had 10 runs of over 50 yards, 17 runs of over 40 yards. You mentioned the fumble. He's got to correct that. Boy, 22 career catches. He does show improvement there. And I like the fact he'll get his nose dirty as a blocker. He is a tremendous pure runner. What's underrated about him, he can run inside between the tackles. Also, bounce it outside. There's nobody going to catch him, even though he ran a 4-5-3 at the combine. He plays a lot faster than that. Yeah, absolutely. This kid is scheme diverse. He can run in a zone scheme. He can run in a gap in a power scheme. He hits the line of scrimmage with great pad level. Just kind of picks and slides and skates. And then once he gets an open field, it's not great elite speed, but it's good speed. He will rip off plenty of plus 20-yard runs in the running games, which will just gut a defense in the National Football League. It's a great pick, and on top of it, he's a great kid. He just root for him to do well. From Kenosha, Wisconsin, he ran for 2,587 yards last year. The only single season better than that. Barry Sanders, who was the first round pick, by the way, once upon a time. There's the reaction in the green room. Chargers made the pick. Houston on the clock. that say you're never gonna be great? Brutal liars. Voices that say you've already made it. But you know that's not true. There's always work to be done. Quicker, tougher, smarter. You got to put your eyes forward, stare down, and just shred. Cause it doesn't matter what they're saying, it matters what you're doing. It matters what you're doing when no one's watching. No one's telling you to get up those early mornings and grind. And the difference between the good and the great can be as small as three yards. We've been talking so much about expectations in rookie seasons and young players and, and things of that ilk. Uh, Melvin Gordon was not someone who returned on that promise last season in his rookie year. It was bad for Melvin Gordon. Uh, 3.5 yards per carry. Did not score a single touchdown. But I feel like if you kind of just look at this, and this is my own personal viewpoint at this point, the name Melvin Gordon kind of has a stink attached to it at this point. So let's just go the Tecmo Super Bowl route and call him RB Chargers. And, and RB Chargers kind of seems like a classic bounce back scenario um are, are you liking melvin gordon heading into 2016 that's a good way to put it i like the techno approach there um yes no if melvin gordon would have broken one run last year and scored a touchdown or two the the perception on him would be entirely different we knew that he was a boomer bust player coming into the league you know he just didn't break any of those long runs last year uh you know obviously finding out he had a micro fracture in his knee uh that changes things i don't know if that affected him if it was up to that point i'm not sure but the thing is we've seen running backs in the past like Le'Veon bell his rookie year he averaged three point i think it's 3.5 yards per carry and and he turned out to be pretty good. Um, the, the concern with San Diego is the offensive line, but you know, the thing that a lot of people are missing in this offense, there, a lot of people are projecting Phillip Rivers to throw the ball a lot. A lot of people are projecting high things for Keenan Allen. But when you look at this offense, Ken Wisenhunt was brought back for a reason. This Chargers offense was very efficient in 2013. And what most people don't realize is that Phillip Rivers threw the ball just 544 times in 2013 under Ken Wisenhunt. The running backs carried the ball. 435 times that year. You know, considering last year, you look at Rivers, 661 attempts, they carried the ball 372 times. 
So when you look at these numbers and you kind of merge the two, let's say they're not even going full Wizen Hunt and they're gonna they're gonna merge the two offenses and say we don't want to throw this much because we don't want to be in shootouts. You know, we want to run the ball more. If you project this team for around 400 carries, look at the fact that Danny Woodhead has he's carried the ball more than 98 times just once in his career. Take it inside. 
Red Wrap, great patience into the secondary and brought down by Eric Murray. Still looking at Melvin Gordon. I think it has to be the outside start with Melvin Gordon. This is done right here. Again, the patience and the burst of Mitchell Jarabita. Another game is another third down with 30 out touchdown pass to Smith. Gordon, first and 10. Nice block on the edge. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, LA. Melvin Gordon, the running yard touchdown run. And they go again to Gordon. Gordon steps on a defender. And Gordon right. close to the work. Rivers hooks a pass. Caught by Gordon for the touchdown. The Chargers are on the board. In the sky, he got away from fall, <laughs> into the night. I raise my hand Gordon. to the fire. Breaks but away. No use, cause you and Gordon will not go down. Through. He gets the first one. It's true. He the ball, dumps it off for Gordon. Catch a run opportunity. Gordon with long strides if you into New York territory. Finally dropped it by 47 right around their first game of the season. Rivers on third and nine. Rivers connects. It's Gordon. He's got the angle. Touchdown, Chargers. Gordon in the backfield gets the call. Big hole. And he takes it in the secondary. Taking the pass. Good to the tackle. Full back in. Fourth and goal. Gordon in. A fly by and a touchdown. A one yard touchdown. Right into the end zone by Gordon. Christian Cannon for the wishbone. He caught it, and here goes Gordon. Look at this. Breaking tackle. Skip on in the play on the field. And right into the defense of the tackle. Zinger Woods. It's a second down and goal. Rivers. Gordon with blockers ahead. And an easy touchdown. Making his way in. Six yard touchdown. Gordon. Step hesitation, galloping into the secondary, brought down by Harris. Five yards and opening, and there goes Gordon down the sideline. Does Gordon have enough speed to take it all the way? Melvin Gordon, he's in. Touchdown, Chargers. 87 yards. Anthony Lynn has brought up. Gordon, Gordon running room right up the middle. 
tripped up and brought down at the 44. It's That's enough for a first. Okay, Petri. Petri. Gordon. Gordon sidesteps the tackler. Gordon into Jets territory. And he's forced out of bounds. A yard short. First down to the nine yard pickup. Can you feel the attraction? Right up the middle. Gordon, a spin move. Gordon cutting it to the outside. 13 to 10. Can feel it between us? They lost 30 to 13. This is an by Gordon. It's like electricity. Gordon is at a first down.